Hey, what's up, friends? Uh, you know, I'm going to say something that I shouldn't have to say, but technology, big fan, huge fan, use it all the time, definitely needed. But what's been happening in real estate for the last few years is uh, some of these big technology companies are trying to do away with real estate agents. They're trying to make this a, a contact, less human, less experience, trying to help people become more efficient and do it from their phone or whatever. Um, but you're seeing right now a number of these large tech companies that were attempting this are now finding out that it might not be as easy as they thought and a number of them are going bye-bye. Um, I personally think that there's going to be this need for human interaction in real estate forever. I just think it's too big of a deal, too emotional of a deal um, to not have a professional guiding you. Um, so as you're out there, buying and selling real estate. I think you need to have a real estate agent in your corner. And I want to give you five tips on how to go about finding that real estate agent. If you don't already have somebody that you like and you trust, number one, ask for the referral. Ask your friends and family who they trust, who they would use if they were recommending somebody or if they needed it for themselves. Um, that's a big deal. So start with a referral. I work by referral and it's very important to me to do an extremely good job when people refer me, not only because that new client deserves it, but because somebody went out on a line on a limb, on a line, and recommended me, put their name out there and said, you know, this is the guy. So now there's even more pressure I put on myself to do a great job for that person. So as for the referral, number two, once you get that referral, do a little stalking, check them out on social, see what you can find out about them, about how they do their business, about their personal life or their family life, anything they're willing to share, get a peek behind the curtain, see how they communicate, how they educate, just get a feel for them. So, you know, we fully expect you're going to check us out online. So you know, just do it. Uh, number three, see how their personality matches with yours. That's a big deal. Like communication, personality, hopefully this is a lifelong working relationship, or even if it's not, even if it's one transaction, it's going to take some time and you want to make sure that you jive and that you get along. Communication being a, a big, big thing. Um, number four is make sure they actually have experience in what you're looking for and they're active. I mean, you could walk through the, you know, the mall right now and probably bump into a thousand people that have a real estate license, especially in the last two years, but are they active? Are they actually out there doing this as a profession or are they dabbling? And, you know, a new agent can help you just as well as an, a veteran agent. It doesn't matter how long they've been in the business, but make sure they've got some level of experience in what you're looking for, or they at least have the tools and resources and support to, uh, to figure it out um, and, and, and if that's good enough for you. And then the last thing is uh, make sure they actually do what they say they're gonna do. This is so simple. I wish everybody in the world would take this advice. That's so easy to do. If they tell you they're gonna do something, make sure they do it. And if they don't, you got the wrong person.